that um, we are providing you with a map of the SPLOS projects. Uh, this was provided uh, back in uh, November 2013.
commissioners, Marshall and Evans, and the chairman of, uh, of the last two years had the opportunity to go out and visit that area and talk to those citizens. And uh, this is an expensive proposition. <laughs> and the previous board agreed to and uh, one that we will be doing as soon as can you have quit with a special meeting end of this month for that system? So, um, as you look through this, you will note why these uh, projects are here, what they're intended to do, and how we will go about this process. And it too will be, as uh, we indicated earlier, we have an availability to do Trying to make sure that 
both of their departments did not get uh, projects taken away from them while they were funding something else. But my pleasure was a little better than my accounting and promoting that. And so I'll continue to reduce the amount of water uh, and utilities swaps. Um, along with that, uh, might we talk about the to cases and have it in pass. Case 22 and 29, you'll see on uh, the commission agenda uh, for next week. Uh, the DOT is going to be doing those two interchange projects. 22 and 29. Uh, That's Hay Hiring North Foster. Hay Hiring North Foster. And part of those, both of those projects are is that you own a utility, you have to, you're responsible for relocating it unless it is in a <coughs> We have a private easement is up at X, uh, uh, on the west side, or excuse me, the east side of X 22. We do have something in the private easement up there that the DOT will pay to have relocated. But everything else that we have on 22 and 29, uh, the county's going to have to relocate our own dime. Uh, we, uh, right now, we hired uh, level engineering uh, because they are the only uh, pre qualified. Surveyor here in town to do the uh, to do the survey on the DOT by the DOT standards and the DOT are qualified to do it. Uh, they're going to be doing the survey for their engineering on it, and uh, then they'll sit down with the DOT and figure out exactly what all's got to be relocated, whether some of the manholes that are out there could possibly be raised uh, to uh, to the new grade, uh, and then we'll come up with a set of construction plans on how much extra has to be relocated. Uh, Jeff and I have sat down and if, uh, if we have to relocate 100% of our lines, water and sewer, through there, we're probably talking a million and a half dollars. So uh, another one of those surprise expenditures. Surprise expenditures. We're probably talking a million and a half. If we have to relocate everything, uh, we know we've got to relocate 100% of the water. There's no question this is not going to allow us to leave the water line uh, on the uh, That's all going to be relocated. Every valve, every hydrant, every connection, all that's got to be relocated. Uh, now, the sewer, uh, depending on how it falls in, whether it's in conflict with some of their storm, uh, then they may possibly allow us to leave it in there. We uh, already know some of the sewer has got to be relocated. It just depends. Uh, you know, we could be in that uh, that million and a half dollar range. That's now that takes you know now you're up, you you take one off the bottom, and uh, and and so uh, but that's that's something we got to do. Georgia Power had to relocate all their stuff. Coffee and Feed had to relocate all their stuff. I guess not everybody that's somewhere on that. Yeah. Okay. Um, next time. Is the community water system locations? This is a question that y'all 